Hello, this is JR, the Master Gunsmith at Zena Firearms, back again this week to give you a tip on installing the Picatinny rail on your ZF5. The first thing you want to do is figure out the orientation of your rail, and this is basically how it goes on your gun. This grooved cutout goes to the rear, so that it's easy to see your uh, see your serial number, and we also want to show you that the rail will come with the wedges installed on the rail so you can't lose them and how they're positioned that's how they will be positioned when we install the rail on the gun so the first thing we do after we move our screws and wedges is turn it upside down as you can see how it positions on this tab now historically one of the problems that we have had with this type of firearm is that the rails did not fit snugly onto the receiver and it was easy for them to work loose so when we designed the rail for this gun we designed it to where it sets very snug and it either press fit down onto the tabs and if you have it to where it does not want to go down very easily take a very soft mallet or a soft piece of wood and tap it to make sure that the rail goes into position and then you will notice that this rail is stuck on the gun, will not come loose even without the screws on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install our wedges and our screws. And this wedge goes in the angle part inside and up, flat part down. And we slide it into position and put our screw in place. Take a flat bladed screwdriver to hold your wedge flat. And start your screws. And at that point, move on to the next screw. Okay, now at this point, we have all four of our screws and wedges started together. So at this point, make sure that the rail is flat. And on the top of the receiver. And then take all the slack out of the four screws. Now that all the four screws are snug and we know that the rail is flat on the top of the receiver what we're going to do is go and torque the screws and what I like to do is do a crisscross pattern and adjust the screws very similarly the amount of tension on each screw you notice that I'm tightening with the short section of the wrench and it keeps me from over torquing the screws. Now I can tell you, this is the way that I install the rails in the shop all the time. And I'm very used to doing it this way and getting even pressure on the screws. There is one other thing that you can do, and you can use a small torque wrench that works in inch pounds. And you can use the torque wrench to get even pressure on all four of your screws. However, be very, very careful not to exceed 20 inch pounds of pressure or you can damage the screws and the wedges. Thank you for watching our video today and stay tuned for our next video where we will try and give you more tips and advice.